I know what payback did. It's alright. They'll get theirs eventually. Until then, you're just gonna have to stay in. What? Whoa! Do you know where this man is? Freaking flax! There's one doomsday, he's got a doomsday towel around his waist. I need him to help me fight Gravedigger and Captain tonight, because they screwed me at the first ever trick-or-treat match last week! Whoa, Rocco, hey, calm down, man. Uh, wait, freaking flax? I am freaking flax, it's my mask! I wonder if moves in a ladder match. Freaking flax, man! Doomsday, you say doomsday champion? I wasn't one of the best doomsday. Trick or treat? That was like a couple years back, man. Last week. A couple. Last week. Rocco, what day is it? Today is 10:31. Today is every day is Halloween. Every day is Halloween. Of course it is. That's that's what I was afraid of. I think asylums is mixed up with some kind of uh, space time continuum Twilight Zone crazy conspiracy thing. It's like mixing professional wrestling with science fiction. Who would want to see that crap? Wait, what just hell happened? What just hell happened? The mask and the, and the orange and black and the... <gasps> Trick or treat? Wow. All right. Um, all right. Let me think about this one. Uh, treat? I know what happens, Rocco. If I, if I say trick, I get hit in the head with the pipe that I've been hit in the head many times with, by the way, that you nicknamed trick. However, if I say treat, there's a chance I'll get Reese's Pieces, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. That'd be awesome. They don't... On but you don't get to choose! Starburst and Skittles. Halloween gets to choose. The coin? Flip, flip, flip! Oh, treat. Treat? Treat, yes! So oh. Uh, I get to treat. Okay. Here's something we'll see. Let's go find it. Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for a singles contest between Mr. Psycho and Carnage. Carnage in the last two weeks has run through members of the Kindred. He looks to complete the three-peat here tonight by defeating Mr. Psycho. He defeated Jacqueline Frost in the qualifying round of the Apocalypse Tournament, and he defeated Christian Sane last week in the quarterfinals of the Apocalypse Tournament. Mr. Psycho knocked out of the tournament, but we'll have a match with Carnage here tonight on Aftermath anyway. Mr. Psycho coming out to the ring, his usual full of himself. Mr. Egotistical jerk ass. I said it's right, I said jerk ass about Mr. Psycho, I said it. And now we await the arrival of his opponent, Carnage. And here he comes, Carnage marching his way out of the backstage area in recent weeks has been telling the Kindred that the cult of the dead will be resurrecting, that they will rise again. Is it the truth? Or could it just be a ploy by Carnage to throw the Kindred off of their game so that he can pick up some big victories over them in recent weeks? He beat Frost in under a minute thanks to Gino Diomedes' theme music. He beat Christian Sane last week. Will we see another tease of the Cult of the Dead from Carnage? Or will the Cult of the Dead actually resurrect here tonight on Aftermath? Or as I said, is it just a ploy by Carnage to throw the Kindred off of their game? Arm ringer there by Mr. Psycho as this contest gets underway. Carnage rolls through and gets an arm ringer of his own with so much force that Psycho flips over. Psycho now trying to handstand over and he does. Working over that arm of Carnage. Psycho now sent off the ropes. Irish with reversal taken down with a shoulder block. Carnage coming off the ropes. Psycho stays underneath, leapfrog over him. And we get a hip toss, no. Knee to the midsection. And we get a backslide by Psycho. We get a cover. We get a count, we only get two. Carnage ducking the clothesline. Trying for the full Nelson slam. We got a scoop, we got a roll up, excuse me. 
history roll there. Now we got a roll up. We got a cover. Psycho has his hands in the ropes and the pin gets broken. Carnage now with Psycho up, but Psycho floats over from behind. Psycho rolling back off the, uh, the hook of the ropes there by Carnage. And Carnage sends Mr. Psycho out to the floor, landing right on his knees, landing right in front of the crowd. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Carnage rolled! Hell yeah, K man! Carnage now going to the outside of the ring to collect Mr. Psycho and sends him flying into that brick wall out on the floor. Psycho staggering around, kicked right in the chest by Carnage. Carnage taking that move out of the playbook of Sin, using the big boot. Carnage sending Mr. Psycho back into the ring after the big boot on the floor. Oh, what a chop to the chest by Carnage. And again. Psycho sent into the front corner by Carnage. Here comes Carnage charging and he hits him with a splash in the corner. Knee to the midsection. He's called for it to be over here. Going for maximum Carnage. Wait a second, what could it be here? Defibrillator onto Carnage. We got a cover, we got a count, and we only get two. Psycho on top of Carnage right now. Kicking him right in the face. And a drop kick to the back of the head. We got a cover. We got a count. We only get two. Mr. Psycho gets his hold broken by Carnage. Carnage now hammering away, backing him into the ropes, sending him off the opposite side. And Mr. Psycho tries for a hit scissors and gets it into a Russian leg sweep instead. Carnage throwing Psycho back onto his feet. We got a leg drop there by Psycho. Psycho was thrown onto his feet, hit a Russian leg sweep, hit that leg drop and got a near fall on Carnage. Psycho dragging Carnage out. What are we gonna see here? Psycho now going up to the top rope. Could it be that flying elbow drop that he is so good at? He's taking way too much time though. And he still hits it. Elbow drop out of the corner. We got a cover. We got a count. We only get two there. Psycho now with that submission move, he calls the straight jacket. He's got it locked on Carnage and he's got it locked on tight. But Carnage is up to his feet and he's about to break the straight jacket and he does into a full Nelson slam. Carnage now waiting for Psycho to get up to his feet. What are we gonna see here? Carnage charges with a clothesline, taking Psycho down, and again. Carnage now has Mr. Psycho up, but Psycho's feet hit the masked referee. Carnage sits out, dropping Psycho down across his shoulders, but the masked referee has been knocked out. Carnage calling for the end here, he could be going for maximum carnage or the Katahatjame. 
Either way, he's called for the end, but the masked referee is knocked out cold. Wait a second, there's the major steel chair shot right across the back, dropping down Carnage. Major Morpheus Morenzi coming out to the ring and hitting the man who defeated him at Annihilation right square across the back with that steel chair. And now, just like last week, Major Morpheus Morenzi and Mr. Psycho working together, Murder House! A dollhouse in a modified version of the murder ride. You get the murder house. And we got a cover, we got one. This has got to be all two. And we got, no, we do not. Carnage gets the shoulder up at the very last second. And the referee gets leg dropped right in the back of the head. And here comes Kevin Chaos chasing Marinzi out of the ring, sliding out and going all the way, chasing him backstage. He was running so fast, he almost collided with the brick wall. Mr. Psycho now undoing that top turnbuckle, exposing the steel there in the corner. Oh, but I'm so good. And there you see it, that steel is exposed right in the corner. This does not bode well for Carnage. Carnage reverses it, Psycho blocks it. He gets caught in the Katahatame. He is locked in tight. The Katahatame is locked on tight. Carnage has it. He's sitting right on it. There is no referee. It doesn't matter. There's no ref. Wait a second. Here's the president, Miss Moody Stark. She's coming in, he's tapping out, and she calls for the bell. Bring the bell. Can she do that? I mean, I know she's the president and everything, but she wasn't the appointed referee. Miss Moody Star, a former ally of Carnage in the Cult of the Dead, a former ally of Gino Diomedes, helping Carnage get a victory over Mr. Psycho here this week. It looks like Carnage has something to say. Yeah. Bringing moves to help you out is not gonna help at all. Bring whoever you want. The Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force. Bring them all, because it's gonna take a lot more than that to stop the cult from re resurrecting again. And when he does, Gino comes back with the cult, you will learn to fear the cult. You will learn to fear the dead. You will learn to fear for your lies. Carnage leaving Mr. Psycho with some words saying once again that the cult of the dead will resurrect. The fans chanting, fear the cult, fear the cult. I don't know, after everything that has happened to Gino Diomedes, I don't know if it could happen, but it seems like it might be able to, and now we've got a Fear the Dead chant. We've got two former cult members here. We've got the words that two more are coming back in Gino Diomedes and Vepris. Can the cult of the dead resurrect here in WAW? Or was this all just a ploy by Carnage to fool the Kindred? But I understand our cameras are on the Kindred, so let's go backstage with them.